still my hero. But I think he needs Downey as a sidekick. Sweet, juicy, delectable summer produce is in at Sprouts Farmer's Market. It's your open bell in time of the morning. Hurry in for the best in fresh seasonal fruits and veggies, guaranteed to quench your summertime cravings. From sweet, plump cherries to mouth-watering melons and juicy peaches, plums, and nectarines, they've picked the best and fresh just for you. Load up on these natural summer sweets before they're gone. Only at your local Sprouts Farmer's Market. Keys, 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 keys on that Keys, 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 keys. It's great to hear that tune again. We missed you, L.A. And a huge thank you to all the healthcare workers, first responders, and essential employees out there. Extraordinary times lead to extraordinary opportunities, making now the greatest time to buy a car ever. Really, the best time ever. Take advantage of the deals of a lifetime at Keys. Now, factory incentives are better than ever. Up to $15,000 in net savings off MSRP. Loaded with LA's biggest selection. With extended term rates at 0% and no payments for up to 120 days. Our showrooms are clean, sanitized, and open for your needs. We can't wait to see you at least six feet apart. Because there's never been better buys than right now at Keys on Van Nuys. Just north of the 101, where it's safe to buy a car. Keys, keys, keys. Keys on that ice. All offers would approve credit. Hi, it's Ellen Kay for CompanyCovidTesting.com. Are you worried about your business being a COVID-safe environment for your staff and customers? If you have over 100 employees, CompanyCovidTesting.com will come to you with full-service, doctor-verified COVID testing and scheduled retesting of your employees on-site at your business. Their tests are highly reliable and fast, both for the virus as well as for antibodies. For more information, go to CompanyCovidTesting.com. That's CompanyCovidTesting.com. I'm Dr. Sonia Angel, Director of the California Department of Public Health and State Public Health Officer. In the fight against COVID-19, free confidential testing is key to protecting yourself and the health of those around you. Why? If you test positive, you'll have access to medical treatment regardless of your income or immigration status. Anyone you've been in close contact with can also access help. Together, we can prevent the spread. Let's keep our communities healthy and on the path to reopening. Learn more about California Connected at COVID19.ca.gov. Mobile phone, got the big flush? Get fresh tech in a flash. <laughs> Do it yourself diaper, not doing the trick. Get diapers on the double. <laughs> Last minute surprise for little Susie Six. Get gifts, groceries, and more pronto with new Walmart Express delivery. Our door to yours in two hours or less. Same low prices as in store. Zero markups. Nice. Nice and fast. So why wait? Try Walmart Express delivery. Like now. Restrictions and fees apply. Ah, the sunny beaches of the Mediterranean. Why are you hearing cows relaxing on the beach? Well, Luna Grill has just introduced a new plant-based Beyond Meatball, and the cows couldn't be happier. Luna Grill's new coastal medball brings the delicious flavors of the Mediterranean to Beyond Meat with a blend of fresh vegetables, Mediterranean pesto, pickled onions, creamy tzatziki, and seasoned Beyond Meat. Now, for just $9.95, the new coastal medball with Beyond Meat. Only at Luna Grill. Safe Doctors, Real Friends. It's the Scrubs Rewatch Podcast with Zach Braff and Donald Faison. So we're going to do it like this. Every week we'll be coming to you talking about the uh, next episode of the show. And we'll hope that you'll watch it along with us because that's kind of the idea. Join these Hollywood besties as they interview former cast members, directors, and even show creator Bill Lawrence about the wild nights, weddings, and everything leading up to this cult classic TV show. And they'd be like, we just saw your movie. And I'd be like, oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you for going. Let me tell you about our stuff. <laughs> and it was like only in Hollywood can you go see a movie and then have the star of the movie wait on you for dessert. Together, Zach and Donald recall the intimate journey that built a lifelong friendship. Oh my God, this is where it all originated. Join fake doctors, real friends, as they remember their early success and try to figure out if the janitor was a figment of JD's imagination. Well, you've already proven that time and time again, Donald. Listen to fake doctors, real friends on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you listen to podcasts. For more information about contests on this station, go to 1043myfm.com slash rules. This report is sponsored by Mercury Insurance. 
Reports of a grass fire in Echo Park this morning on the 101 northbound at Glendale Boulevard, so expect some delays through that area. In Downey, a crash along the right shoulder of the 105 eastbound at Bellflower Boulevard getting some attention. And in Commerce on the 5 northbound at Washington Boulevard, watch out for a crash against the center divider. Mercury Insurance has been helping drivers just like you get through some of life's toughest moments since 1962. In these uncertain times, you need insurance you can count on and service you can trust. Visit mercuryinsurance.com to get a quote today. I'm Lonnie Swain with traffic on 104.3 My FM. All right, Lonnie, thank you very much. It is 637. The weather today, a few morning clouds, sunny this afternoon, temps 70 to upper 80s. Jill's got the Hollywood headlines coming up. Miley, Usher, and Coldplay are just a few of the acts doing something for a good cause this weekend. I'll tell you what it is at 6.50. Before we get to the text cab, we were talking to Jill off the air, and I said, are you going to go crazy staying at home all this time? Because Kevin will be back in the workplace prior to you being back because he ran mass and you made a conversation. Made that word up. Um, <laughs> but we're like, are you going to go crazy? And I think she missed what I said. I mean, you'll be home to like December or something. And you said that John Peake had called you and said what? He says that he doesn't see me coming back until September into the building. Okay, I don't know where John Peake gets his information. I honestly, right hand to God, I don't expect to see you or did not expect to see you until probably 2021. Right. You know, when it's oh a cure or something. Because what would be different in September than right now? I know that's debilitating to you and that's... It wasn't meant to be hurtful. Trust me. I was just trying to protect you. No, I you. know. I know. And I'm so thankful that I'm able to stay home. And just thinking about that, though, makes it's me so sad. Right. Well, then yeah, take, yeah, it, yeah. take it one day at a time. Don't look at the long-term plan. Go, all right, I'm not going into work today. I can sit here, hanging out in my PJs, not do my hair, you know, whatever, crawl out of bed <laughs> today. And then tomorrow, right. you face tomorrow when it comes. I think John said September because it's like that thing where you're on your way to somebody's house and you're like, oh, I'll be there in 10 minutes, even though you know it's going to be 20 minutes. Like you're just right. trying you to make to it sound something right. a little bit better than it actually is. He's I think that's all he was doing. Yeah, he's trying to make it palatable in certain respects. Yeah, right, right. right. Yeah. right. <laughs> but honestly, I just well, thought until we had some kind of um, treatment plan or a better handle on stuff or right. until there's a vaccine or whatever for people that are severely immunocompromised and MS is on that list of severe, you know, conversations. <laughs> like, I, I trust you guys. Like, I would, I would honestly have no problem coming into our studio. I trust you guys. You guys, you know, you wear masks. You keep everybody sure. safe and clean and all that. Yeah. I'm just not sure about everybody else in that building. <laughs> so that's mm -hmm. what worries me. Not just on our floor. Like, we have so many, well, so many people. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's people that are dirty. But we also, you know, in terms of, we don't know what you're up to. You get the virtual quarantine suitor. You know, who knows what's going on <laughs> right. at your house. Right. People, people in, uh, in and out around here. Yeah, that's what we heard, <laughs> but we're not going to say it. All right, Kev, we get a bunch of texts trying to find out what the <sighs> male Karen is going to be. We do, and I'm not super happy about it. But, uh, yes, the Internet's looking for a name for the male Karen, so you're texting us your suggestions. Uh, this one says Bill for sure, Michael uh, the male version of Karen in my life is Dane, somebody said. That's a good one, Dane. I could see that. Uh, this text comes from a Dave. He said, no way. It's not Dave. Dave is the chill name. Chad's with the male Karens. Uh, but, of course, coming from a Dave, he doesn't want it to be Dave. Uh, Kyle, Judas, Brad, Judas. Jeremy. And then here we go. This is what I don't like about it. There okay. are a lot of texts. Apparently, there are already a lot of people on the Internet that think it's been decided. And it is Kevin, which is my name. They're oh, saying the male Karen is already... It's Kevin. There's Case even an Instagram. Close. Kevin's no. going wild. Case uh, I've never, never heard.